It's Friday, March 20th, and online instruction will start on Monday. So we thought this would be a good time for the President Miller to uh, address some of the questions that, that students have and, and some of the things that the university and SGA are doing to help out in this time. So I guess I'll start off with um, some of the things that we are doing to make things a little bit easier. Um, those classes that usually require proctored exams, with the exception of those where it is a licensure requirement, we are um, finding other ways uh, and will not be requiring the proctoring so that students will not have to come to campus or to other places. A lot of the usual proctoring sites have been closed because of the coronavirus. So we will be looking at ways to help with that. We've also adjusted the calendar beyond extending spring break for one week. We're also changing the dates for withdrawal and dropping of classes. Students may now withdraw or drop a full or accelerated term course up until April 24th. And students may drop or withdraw without receiving a WP or WF for accelerated term two until April 9th. So we're trying to find some ways to, to help students out at this time with their grades. One of the concerns that SGA has heard going forward out of many is a lot of students are unaware of uh, how to properly take online classes, uh, what that will look like for them, how it will look like in their own home. Uh, and I want all of you to know that your concerns are valid, whether it be online classes, food insecurity, travel difficulties, and that the university and SGA are listening to all of your concerns and we are communicating with the appropriate offices, whether that be at the university level, state or federal level, to find the answers and address the issues that you have. Students are feeling anxious. Uh, everybody's feeling anxious at this time. And I think the way we're gonna get through this best is by communication. Make sure if you're having problems with accessing materials you need for a course, talk to your faculty member or email them Get, the, get in touch with them through, through Canvas and let them know what, what those situations are. We also have other services that are available online. We have online counseling services available. And just this week, Campus Rec has started posting uh, workout routines that you can follow at home on their Facebook page. They're calling it Owls in the Nest. SGA, as well as several university offices, are remaining available to students on a digital basis. Uh, we're available via phone, email, and Zoom, as well as our SGA Facebook page, which you can follow for an updated list of resources available in the community to students, as well as our normal updates on uh, SGA business and elections. And other services that will be made available online include the Writing Center, so if you're struggling over some, some writing assignments that you have, there will be a resource. Online tutoring is available. We um, also have, for students who are in financial stress, we do have a student emergency fund that can provide limited assistance. And on the same page as the emergency fund, there are links to local resources that can be taken advantage of. And John Jacob and SGA have also been posting information on a, on a frequent basis about places where students can get help. Yes. Um, if you have any questions about resources that are available in the community or beyond, uh, or if you have recommendations of a resource, whether that be uh, in terms of a food resource, a financial resource, in that case, please donate to the Student Emergency Fund, um, but also resources of paid internships mm -hmm. or uh, transportation, please reach out to myself or Jess Harpole in Student Life. And if you're having questions that you don't really know who to ask, who to ask, you can send those in email to covid19info at muw.edu, and we'll make sure that those questions get passed along to the person who can provide your answer. This is going to change a lot of things. Uh, we don't really know what what the world is going to look like post COVID-19, uh, so we're trying to just look at this in short periods of time. We do feel um, that we're not gonna be able to have large gatherings anytime soon. So we went ahead and postponed commencement and the other related ceremonies. We're gonna have to think of a way that we can honor our May graduates at a later date, and that's gonna take some creativity. 
We're going to have to figure out the best time for doing that and how we do that. So we would like to hear from students on, on what they think would be appropriate ways for us to, to celebrate. Definitely. And uh, wherever you feel comfortable directing those concerns, whether it be uh, through the COVID email address or reaching out to university offices or SGA, uh, we are all here to listen and help you through these unexpected circumstances. Um, I understand the grief, sadness, or maybe even anger that you're feeling. I also feel those feelings. We, none of us could have expected what could have happened this semester. I never planned for this to be the capstone of my time here at the W. And I will miss the wonderful traditions that we value, like homecoming or mag chain. But those kind of things were never really what the W was about. The W is an institution of our people, and the health and the safety of our people is paramount in this time and at any time. So if you are feeling hurt or anxious or sad or angry, we understand those feelings are valid. Please reach out. We have resources available for you. We are here to listen to you. But know that your sacrifice was not in vain. It was an important step to help prevent the unmitigated spread of a global pandemic. Exactly. This is just a different, different time for all of us, and uh, we all need to be kind to each other and realize that everyone is under a lot of stress, and we're going to do our best to reach out and to make things okay. Um, in the end, you know, I can see some positive things coming out of this. I think we're going to learn to be a little more nimble. We're going to learn how to streamline processes and provide more services online. I know we will um, have a much greater appreciation for being able to gather together and celebrate. It's kind of lonesome here. It is. And you know, the worst of situations bring out the best of people. I think that even in these dark times, we forge new relationships within our university community, but also the community at large. And I believe that we'll come out on the other side of this stronger because of our dedication to our mission and our students. Exactly.